Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect um, Part 2. I have done a little bit of work. You didn't really miss anything. Actually, yes, you did. Um, it's just me and Caden Elenko right now because um, we came around the corner and some guys shot Jenkins and now he's dead. So, yeah. I don't really wanna, oh, I did it. I just wanna, <laughs> the game will get easier to see because the graphics aren't as, um, aren't as good. I guess because I don't know why, but the graphics really, really suck on this. And then as it progresses, Mass Effect 2 has way really better and bad graphics than this, and so does Mass Effect 3. Mass Effect 3 has better graphics out of all three games. So it's not going to all look like this. I hope you guys all know that. Thanks, Caden. Oh crap, what, where are they? <laughs> What she said was, thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't know if I was going to make it, because the volume might be a little low. Sorry, guys. I'll just read out what they say. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. Never mind. You the one who talked to your man? <clears throat> it just got a little bit louder. I don't know if I should be nice to her. Mm, I kind of just want to know what happened here, but I kind of just want to be like, we're on a mission, leave me alone. But I also want to be like, are you okay? I'm just be nice. Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Yet. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others. I think I'm the only one left. Don't blame yourself, Williams. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the gas overwhelmed us. The gas haven't been seen outside the veil in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. They might still be there. I'm going to say join us, because I'm nice. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Do you know about the gas? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetic, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the chlorine of the two centuries ago. It was supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the chlorines and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe there are units there better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol. Until the gas hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian specter around here? There aren't any Turians on any hunt. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a specter anyway. So you saw this guy, you'd know. There's enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. 
Yes, ma'am. Move out. I want to get to that area. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Move out. Yes, ma'am. Move out. Yes, ma'am. Move out. Yes, ma'am. Move out. Yes, as you can see, I changed their armors from the last episode. We just now have met Ashley Williams. Let's see, well, oh no. Um. I guess, yeah. Okay. It's a bit like. Oh, see. Okay. I put on this last one. And I don't really like it when they wear helmets. I like to be able to see their faces when they're talking and the thing. I'll give her heavy armor so she doesn't die as quick. And he. He's special. He doesn't get to wear medium or very, very big armor. He only gets to wear light. You have to upgrade him. <coughs> How long have I been recording? Six minutes. Okay. Um. I don't really care. I want to give Caden something. I'm going to give Caden something. He needs to be able to wear his. She looks good in that. I look good in this. Actually, no, I want her armor. <laughs> Now I want Ashley to Ashley, you put this on. Shepard. Shepard. Um, this one was it? Yeah, okay. And then Ashley can put on this one. There we go. And then Caden can just be a loser in his light armor. Well, we have us two bosses. She looks like she's really, really fat. I thought, like, the first time I ever played this, I was like, oh my god, she's really fat. I got something. I got some XP. Anything there. I hate how there's sometimes, like, a little bit of a leg slice when you get close to something. I, like, they don't really have that, so. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side of the gap. Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we pick up the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramp. I hate it when it does this. Like, I should have the choice. Like, I like how auto save, but they could have it, like, at the bottom of the screen, and it says... should have the choice to save and make a little option at the bottom of the screen that says Okay, so that is the end of this episode. I have to get going. Um, I will be recording another episode probably later tonight. Um, I might finish the Slender Arrival demo tomorrow. Um, and I'll do another episode of Mass Effect, of course. And I probably give this three days before I finish it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment and leave a like and a comment. It'll really help me out. And if you, if it's your birthday, if today was your birthday, happy birthday. If someone died today, I'm sorry for your loss.